Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can push and automate a Docker file and Docker image for a Java application to AWS ECI using Jenkins for CSED. So let's begin. So in this video, we're going to create, create a pipeline on Jenkins, which will automate the process of building the image for a Docker app or for a Java app inside a repository on GitHub. And then it will automatically push it to AWS ECI on successful builds. All right, so let's begin. So first of all, we need to head up to our Jenkins official dashboard, and then we can click on a new item right here. All right, so I'm going to create a sample test pipeline here. So I'm going to click the pipeline item and then create the pipeline for us. All right, so I, for this, I will just get the triggers because I'm going to manually build this pipeline. Moving forward for the pipeline source, I can select the pipeline script from SCM and choose Git as the SCM source. For the repository URL, I have a sample Django application right here. So I'll just copy the URL of my GitHub repository and then paste it right here. Credentials, I do not need credentials for this because it is a public repository. But if it is a private repository, you need to pass in credentials and we create one using Jenkins Dimension Manager, and I'll show you how you can do that just soon. For the branch specifier, I can keep it as the main branch because the project is present at my main branch itself. Script path, I want to keep it as Jenkins file only because I'm going to eventually build the Jenkins file inside the root directory of my depot. All right, so I'm going to save this configuration for my pipeline and we can move forward. All right, so now I can go to the dashboard and then again i'm going to check some jenkins credentials so for the credentials i'm going to create aws credentials for this since we need to push our image to the aws ecr we need to log the docker inside that aws ecr from our jenkins system so for that we need to get the credential section here and we need to create new variable in the global domain click on add credentials and you have to create Credentials of the type AWS credentials. Now, this might not be present by default inside of Jenkins dashboard. So, for this, you need to install some plugins. To so install the plugins for AWS credentials, you can go to manage Jenkins again and then go inside the plugin section. Now, click on available plugins and now search in here AWS credits. I have already installed that. You can see that inside my install plugins section. If I search for AWS credits, and here it is. You need to install both of these via the AWS steps and AWS credentials plugin that will enable you to use AWS credentials inside your Jenkins pipelines. All right, moving forward, now I create the Jenkins credentials here. So clicking on credentials, create the global domain, and then click on add credentials. Now, in this, you can click on AWS credentials and you can add some ID for this from so your access use ID and your secret access key. So for the access key ID, you can uh, head up to your AWS console, go inside the security credentials here. Now you can scroll down to the access key ID section. All right, so you can go to the access key section right here and create new access key if you do not have any access in there. I am using already one, one of these access keys, so it is all right for me. All right, so moving forward, I can paint in the access key ID and see the access key key here, and then I can just click on create to create the credentials. Currently, I already have AWS credits stored inside this ID AWS credits. I'm going to use this credentials for my pipeline. All right, so I think we have set up our Jenkins dashboard here, and now we can move on to building our Jenkins file actually. So for this project, I have a sample Docker file here. This is a sample Docker file for a sample Django app. This is a simple Django app, does not have, does not have any complications. It is just a basic Docker file for that. And that's just importing the Python slim version, setting up my environment variables, setting the work directory, and copying the requirements.txt to app, and then running some installation and requirements.txt. Again, copying the root of my directory to the app. And exposing the port 8000, which is the default port for Django. And then I can simply run the command python manage.py runs over, which is the start command 
horizontal application. All right, so now I'm going to build the Jenkins file. The Docker file is completely ready. Clicking on Jenkins file, this is a sample Jen Jenkins file I have created before, demonstrating the sample how does a uh, Jenkins file pipeline basically works. So I'm going to edit this file now. So first of all, you do have the pipeline block here. Type so after the pipeline block, you can enter the agent, which is going to be any for my case. Moving forward, I can set up my environment variables. If you have any, for now, I do not have any environment variables, so I can move on. Now I can set up the stages for this. So for the stages, I can have the first stage for this, which I can label something as checkout. So first of all, we obviously need to check out our GitHub repository for changes. For the stage, I can declare some steps. And in the steps, I'm going to have steps like get branch main. And then we can have the URL of our repository as well, which is going to be this URL right here. So I'm going to just copy and paste that here. All right, perfect. Now moving forward, I think we have completed the checkout stage. Now moving forward to the next stage, we can have a stage of logging into ECR. So we're going to log into ECR now in this stage. How do we do that? Is first of all, I'm going to define steps here, the steps block, and in the steps block, I can have first I can use the command with AWS, which is going to use my new specs inside my Jenkins. That inside the Jenkins account. So I'm going to use the with AWS function. And inside this, I'm going to define some things like region. So region can be, uh, I think that will AP South one for me. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to put these in apostrophes. You can also put it AP South one inside the environment block after the agent. Parameter that put uh, and, and then can access the region variable from environment as well. But I have hard coded it for now. Moving forward, then I can refer to the credentials here. The credentials for this is going to be the credentials ID, which I had said before, which is AWS spreads in my case. All right, okay. Moving forward, I can now run some commands since I'm using. A Windows device, so I need to I can run the commands using PowerShell or BAT. But if you are you have a Linux device, you can use SH for running shell commands. For this process, you need to have Docker installed inside your system, whether you're running your system in cloud or you're in your running your system on local machine. You need to have Docker installed inside the system. All right, moving forward, I can buy the commands inside the PowerShell block. So first command I'm going to run is declare variable name password. Which is going to be equal to AWS ECR get login password. And then I'm going to define the region here. So for the region, that is again going to be AP out one. All right, perfect. So moving forward, I can now run the Docker login command. So Docker login, and then you can set the username to AWS. Now I can set up the password variable here. So password is going to be my password variable here, which is dollar password. All right, perfect. This should be able to log in, uh, log us in inside our AWS EC account. One more thing I have to add is my repository URI for my ECR account. So I'm going to search in ECR service inside my AWS console. And I, I will just copy this URI and paste it right here. And I'm going to, re I'm going to remove the repository here. So that's perfect. That's my repository address. And now I'm going to move forward to the next stage. So for the next stage, we have is building the Docker image. So I'm going to build the Docker image now. Just writing building Docker image. And now I can define the steps for this stage. So the steps. I will define the steps block and I'll run a PowerShell command again. This PowerShell command is going to be something about Docker build. 
So I'm going to run the command docker build Python P. And then I'm going to write my repository name here, which is test. And then the tag tag name for the repository image. So I just tag it something like Django. And then I can tag this image to my AWS account. So tagging the image, I can use the Docker tag command. So Docker tag test Django. And then I can paste my repository URL earlier. And then I'm going to paste the Django tag here as well. So, I'm, so I've tagged this image name to this image name because that's what we need eventually for pushing that image to ECR. All right, moving forward, we can define the next page, which is actually pushing image to ECR. And for defining this page, we can run, we can have the steps. For the steps, we can again run a power cell command here. So for the power cell command, we can run that inside the three post of food script. And now I can run the uh, function docker push. I'm going to push this URI and the Django tag of this image. So that's it. I think we have developed our Jenkins file for pushing the Docker image to AWS ECI using Jenkins. So let's just commit these changes and now we'll see how it works. So I'm going to build this pipeline now and we'll see what are the outputs. Or as far as you can see, it has checked out of our GitHub repository first. And now it is doing inside the AWS credentials segment. All right, so it has sensibly logged in. As you can see, it has given us a message of log and succeeded. So that's great. All right, one more thing. I had actually missed the syntax of Docker build command. So actually, after the hyphen T and declaring the image name, I have to refer to the root in the path of my Docker file, which is actually the root. So I'm going to put the full stuff right here. So pending committing the changes, and now I think it should be able to run perfectly. Let's just build this pipeline again. And I think it should run fine this time. All right, so as you can see, it has started the pushing process to our AWS ESR account, and it is on the stage of pushing events to ECR. Now, so let's just wait for this to push the image to AWS ECR completely, and then I think we should be able to see our image inside our AWS ECR account. All right, so we have got the success message right here. So that means it should have pushed our image successfully to the AWS ECR repository. So let's check our ECR account now. So for this, I'll just go inside the test repo. And I can see that the Django image tag is present right here. So that means we have successfully pushed the Django image inside our ECR repository. And I think that was success. So that's how you can actually automate the process of building a Docker image and then pushing it to the ECR on a local SCM or using the Jenkins file and Jenkins for your CSVD pipeline. All right, so that's that is for the video. So thanks for watching.